Good afternoon. This is November 23rd, 2010. It's almost Thanksgiving. And I'm showing you a very special stove today. Not for someone's home to celebrate Thanksgiving. This stove is 52 inches long. The barrel itself is 38 inches long, which means it will take firewood up to 38 inches long. And that was exactly what the customer asked for. This is a clean air elm and has a nickel elm tree. Some of my new fancy cherry knobs. We'll take a look inside. Grab a flashlight. Get some light on the subject. It's so long it required two cast iron baffles end to end and some very long side mounted U-tubes with lots of little holes as you can see. The fire bricks, five bricks across, four from front to back. And basically, I should tell you who the customer is, well not by name but uh, there's a man who's building a new maple syrup operation here in Vermont and uh, it came as a surprise to me that the evaporator or the apparatus that actually takes the sap and boils it down and turns it into syrup gives off no heat so that the people who work in the in the structure which is new uh, needed a, a source of, of heat to keep warm and basically since they cut wood 36 inches long for the evaporator he said why not build a stove that'll take 36 inch logs and gives out lots and lots of radiant heat the building itself is a post and beam structure with siding on it but no insulation no fancy sheetrock or any sort of inside wall covering and uh, basically you want to be able to stand a reasonable distance from the stove and be warm no matter how cold it is outside so this was the solution other elms have been built this size before and uh, they often end up in in workshops or basements or spaces that are incredibly difficult to heat such as this one and the people love them so happy Thanksgiving 2010 enjoy your elm wood stove